teach people how to lift people into the air. You're the rooster. So <laughs> cuddling. So what's cuddling. Your, what's your favorite thing about cuddling? My favorite thing about cuddling is that it just gives me a feeling of immediate connection to like this moment. It always brings my reality right into this perfect place. I feel like it's so much easier to gain presence when you have um, another person and the closer you are to them like the easier it is mm-hmm. yeah and you know it's like I think about like having a conversation face to face with someone you know not not touching just like across the table from them you know and it's so easy for the mind to wander away and like to just get distracted or think about other things but when you're cuddling like you're physically Mm-hmm. hopefully emotionally and intellectually like engaged in this moment mm-hmm. and like everything is right there and it's so good right here right it's so good what about you what do you love about cuddling oh well touch is my ultimate love language so mm. even like in the most blissful of times in the hardest of times it's like if I am able to just reach out and touch somebody, even if it's not a cuddle, mm-hmm. it's like, uh, it calms my whole system. Mm-hmm. See, I was in the womb for a 10 minute to a twin. And so for me to be in a physical connection, cuddling, that's my first language. Yeah. So I just love the warmth of it. I love that it actually feels like it brings down any kind of stress level. Mm-hmm. It's like my my breath becomes deeper, mm-hmm. and um, it's just that warm feeling of feeling like somebody's else's heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's something really healing about. Yeah, and it does it does calm the mind and calm my brain and just brings me present. And I've noticed for me is like the first twenty minutes of cuddling mm-hmm. to not want to move. I just want to like mm-hmm. stay as a lawyer in one place. Mm-hmm. And, and, and maybe move positions a little bit. Make sure mm-hmm. you come to off. But yeah, I'm like uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I've realized that through you know, doing monthly or by myself twice a month cuddles. Mm-hmm. It's like my first 20 minutes I'm like, you just find somebody I'm like, eh. Mm-hmm. And just relax in and just chill out, and then sometimes longer, depends. Yeah, that's interesting. The, <sighs> the rhythms of cuddling, yeah, and like you go through cycles, and it's kind of like this expression and feedback for, mm-hmm. for you, like where you're at, too. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, this reminder of, oh, I, I really did need that pause, or I really mm-hmm. did need that hectic energy to like engage with someone on that level because like you know it can get like very um distracted or like be repressing things and that Mm -hmm. opportunity to just be with someone in whatever capacity creates itself is just really healing yeah if there's an emotion in there the moment somebody touches you it might come up which is really great yeah you know i remember i was standing somewhere and i was like calm me down from something and i was like okay i'm okay and then one of my friends said can i uh, hug you and the moment he hugged me. I just started crying, and I didn't. Yeah. Know. It was so beautiful, though, just to like yeah. allow that touch and allow that emotion. Yeah. So then everything can come come through. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like it's like this almost physical mantra that you can come back to, mm. like you know, just having contact with another person, like you're kind of coming back to this baseline of okay how do I feel about this touch right now and and what does that 
tell me, what does that clue me into about my own experience in the world right now, my own space, my own energy, like what's going on with me mm-hmm. versus how I react to that. Yeah, what's going on with me emotionally, mentally, physically, uh-huh. and, and can I get also more comfortable? And right. how can I do it in a way that works for both of us? Right. You know, because I know sometimes I used to not change positions, even if I was in, in a bad position for me. Be like, yeah. if I move, they might leave. Right. And, oh, my gosh. And now it's like, well, I think I'm going to move, and they probably won't leave. Yeah. And most of the time, they don't leave. But yeah. It, it's somewhere along the way somebody must have left because I changed positions right. and then I, so I stopped doing it and then I realized like well if I'm not comfortable then, then why am I yeah. here now yeah. and I was like wait a second this makes no sense yeah. the idea oh is be comfortable and connect and yeah. enjoy and breathe in and um, and to like honor your truth and yeah, honor your honor moment, like, yeah. you know, what you're experiencing, exactly. and, and also to like kind of learn ways of communicating that, whether it is verbal whether you need to learn that verbally or physically yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I had this awesome experience, and I think it was in November or October. Mm-hmm. I went to visit uh, a new friend, and um, she both she and I both teach cuddling. It was hilarious. Mm-hmm. Like I hugged her. We hugged. I don't know. We must have melted in for a good one to two minutes. Mm. I could actually feel that oxytocin filling my body. Yeah. And we both looked at each other afterward, and I was like, I wish we had a before and after photo because it was, like, so beautiful to, like, see, like, this is what it does to us.